Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Peter Catani and I'm doing a deck profile of Anthony Hernandez. He came out to our pro play tour and got third place. Great feat for him. So we're gonna check out his deck, tell us about your experience and all that good stuff, boss. All right, thanks. Um, well, for starters, uh, I wanna just uh, give a great thanks to PPG for letting me play. Uh, as you guys may already know, I'm like the band player, whatever. Uh, but today was phenomenal. Uh, I came in, I was expecting more participants, but um, there was still a pretty decent showing. Uh, Matchup wise, I went against like a couple of Hercules. There was a lot of like mirror matches. I played like three to four mirrors today, just different leaders. It was either Trunks um, Storm or Harutagon Storm. Um, other than that, fantastic. Uh, the event was ran very smoothly. Like uh, out of a lot of the events I've been to, PPG does it the best. Uh, that's how so we far. do. Yep. That's how we do it. It's baby. the truth. <laughs> and uh, you know, you feel comfortable, not pressured. The judges are not hawking you. Then you know, everyone gives you some room to breathe because in previous events I've been at, I would be like two judges watching me, like bodyguards. Like it, it was excessive for no reason. But um, anyways, uh, this is the deck I used. I used the Harutagon leader. Oh my. Um, it has a little Hill Twins sign signature let's on it. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh, yeah, let, let's zone in. These are my boys. Those are your boys. True, true. And um, you guys already know what the leader does. Um, it's very strong. It has uh, a lot of synergy with Storm. Mm. Uh, but I have to do, I do have to say that uh, Trunks actually was playing it a little better. So like maybe on my next take on Storm, I might end up using Trunks. Uh, and I'm talking about the set two drums. Okay. But um, without further ado, we're gonna go have everything in order. So we have staples of the deck. We run four pseudo combos. It's a super combo that costs one. Uh, we run three Supreme, three Kai's, double strike. Uh, they're basically the Champas. I run them because they come foil. You've been talking to Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> and for my overrealm, I run three mirror. Wow. which this baby uh, was very strong. In most of my matchups, I stole games. Um, in one of my Hercule matchups, I was able to like shotgun my opponent. I like comboed uh, over like around 100K with double strike with this, and then he took it and he was at two life. I had a bad ring laser and a uh, double strike and a yellow card, brought this guy out, swung, added the double strike. He was hitting for like 180 something K. Like it was pretty much over that's at that genius. point. That's genius. Yeah, because yeah. was supposed to be a bad matchup, but yeah. that tech, that's, mm -hmm. that's a good tech. Yeah, thank you, and uh, you know, uh, it's just how you play against the deck, so pretty much that's that. Now the blue package, uh, we have, uh, I guess I'll scoop this up real quick. We run one Legendary Flute. Um, it's at one for a reason, extremely strong card. Uh, one of the best in the game, and it just allows you to have a lot of synergy with your stuff. So you can bounce back a lot of your creatures and get draws or bounce back a blocker that your opponent may have, especially when you're going in for mirror and a double strike for game, you know. I uh, had that happen, someone had a Mai, uh, one of the Chunks players had a Mai on the board. I just popped it right back to his hand, brought him out, attacked. I also had Bad Ring, he negated, I, and I was like, there we go, game. And it was <laughs> <laughs> pretty simple. Um, we run three Leggies, um, that's basically the Karutagon pieces, followed by four Minosha. It's pretty standard, most people run a four and three, or a three, three, or three, or two. Um, we have our energy um, related cards, which is obviously four Neildings and four Sensus. This is why you play blue, uh, that's basically, it's all about energy, so you manipulate the game in your favor. And then, Pretty much the best super combo in the game outside of Shugesh, if someone doesn't have Corona, Hoi, which there's like a goddess version of this card, but that was the original, it's the OG. Uh, you pitch a card, uh, you draw two. You could pitch your extra cards when you don't need them. Um, you could pitch him, use him to grab a leg, so it's like off of a super combo, you're getting even extra combo. It's, it's nutty. Like when you have your setup, it's just ridiculous. That must be a Anthony tech, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and uh, going on to our yellow package, which is pretty much the reason why I'm playing the deck. 
We'll start off with the two bad rings. Uh, that's what I spoke earlier about. This card is great. I main boarded it because I know a lot of players um, or people in general, they run uh, negates. Negates is in pretty much most decks and uh, most negates that are hurtful to this deck are Nimbus. If you activate Nimbus on me, that kind of slows down my turn so I can't really put as much adequate pressure on you. So essentially, this shuts your pressure down and potentially if you are tapped out or have very little energy, it just gives me a chance to take advantage of you in the game. Uh, four Successors of Hope. This card is amazing. Uh, this is basically eight Bardocks in my deck, um, eight six uh, Grandpas, and eight Gokus, which you're basically going to see them. So this basically counts as everything that it can search for. Uh, this guy is nutty, so Bardock is the, pro is the best one drop in my opinion in the game. Uh, he's just able to do so much with, his, with the swap mechanic and the way it is. Uh, essentially, you want to use this, you grab this from your deck, and then you start being able to take life, which is amazing. Uh, secondary, if you're on low life, especially in the mirror match, and you find yourself like five or less, or usually four or less, you search for this guy, whether you have him in hand or you have to search for him, and he can make the plays that you still need to make. All right. So, um, like I said, uh, this guy, he's just amazing and uh, he's able to bring out these guys, which they're busted in my opinion for a two drop. He becomes a one drop in this deck, whether it's through Grandpa or whether it's through Bardock. Uh, he allows you just to filter extremely fast in the deck. Um, you're seeing three cards at a time. That's pretty, that's unfair. Like there's really no card in the game that does that currently that early. So he's basically one of a kind for now and uh, he has too much synergy with the deck and he pretty much is the deck. When you see multiple copies, it's very hard to lose that game. Um, for Gokus, this guy is something that I like tinkered with. I saw some players running like one in their list and like kind of testing them out because they didn't realize how good he was. He's a generic, he's basically a generic 15k that comes out due to Bardock or Gramps. And um, he's just very strong overall. It's, uh, it's pressure on your opponent. And uh, it's usually I'm able to really stretch the wire where I'm going in for like Bardock. When I know I have game, I'll just start taking life. Then I'll just keep swapping into these guys and just putting a lot of pressure. And then I just get into the point where I just game them with uh, some of the key cards I mentioned earlier. What's your opinion on Videl and the Goku? Because that's normally the changes people usually do. Yeah, um, well, Videl I had in the deck for a while. Uh, I ended up taking Videl out because uh, she isn't... Uh, she dies immediately when you play her. That's one problem I have with her. It's not like apes back then where the format was slower and you were able to just have Videl's and then spam monkeys to protect her. Um, those would be free protects, so it's fine to have a Videl if you have guard people that can guard high. But um, overall, she's kind of a one-time usage. While these cards, you get more bang for your buck. Like, I can defend a Goten more easier than I can defend a Videl, um, especially if my opponent doesn't have like Mass Saiyan or something to remove it. And same thing goes for Goku. Goku's 15K, it's kind of hard to kill it unless you're also playing the same deck. Basically, mirror matches are this deck's, uh, you can say, weakness overall. The mind of Anthony Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for Cyborg, thanks. Um, we have, let's scoop this up real quick. Uh, With a song. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, all right, so we have three Haru Haru. Uh, this card is one of my favorites, but I see myself using less and less of her. Uh, she's good in the format, but because this deck is so fast, you never really want to rely on her on turn three. Um, oddly, you want to have your game going by turn two, which essentially, like again, your, your focus is having Gotens out and spamming as many as you can. Uh, so she wasn't that great even when I sided her in, and half the time I would only board to, uh, I would only side two, and there were even a, there was a cell matchup I played today that I didn't even side at all against it. I was just like, my deck is just good enough to beat you, so I don't, I don't know, it was just weird. Like I didn't feel <laughs> good enough to play that. Um, moving on, Crusher Ball. Crusher Ball is really good. Um, it's a card that I tested against certain matchups. Unfortunately, today I wasn't able to use it, so um, it pretty much had zero playability. Uh, Two-dimensional Banisher Fu, another card that's very good against like mono blue decks. Uh, it's really strong because you can remove their Bergamos or any Yajirobis they may have, uh, unlike what Masayan. Masayan can't touch the blockers, so if you have a threat that you really need to get rid of, 
him, he's great, and he has double strike. So kind of helps uh, mitigate the weakness of this deck. Overall, if you haven't noticed, the deck's weakness is double strike. That's why you main board actual cards that give you it. Um, Flying Nimbus was the fourth card uh, on my list, and it really didn't work as well as I wanted it. Um, through testing, I always had a problem with it in Harutagon. Uh, SS3 was amazing. But in this deck, you kind of find yourself in weird spots where you just could probably combo or use other cards instead of using a negate. Um, it's just kind of weird. Like, this deck doesn't do well if the game is lasting five, six turns overall. So, you know, you want to focus more on aggression than trying to slow the game down, unless it's against the mirror match. And even then, I feel like there's better cyber options. Um, two Mass Saiyans, great against the mirror match and great against decks that have certain things that I really need to remove. Uh, that's a priority. And then last but not least, we got two Time Ruler Toa. Um, she was really clutch uh, against some of the mirror matches that allowed me to steal my opponent's Gotens. Um, I did a few wonky plays where I was able to steal my opponent's blocker and I was able to go in for game. So <laughs> that's another thing. A lot of people are running low drop blockers, so it's like, oh, I'll steal your blocker. And now you don't have one and it's game. All right. Anything else you want to say, brother? What was your best matchup? Uh, my best matchup was probably the Hercule in Top Cut. Uh, that was a very fun game. My opponent uh, played, didn't play that well game one, but he, he played very well game two. Game two, I just had enough combo power. I think it's on stream, so maybe you guys can watch it. Uh, or if not, it's gonna be on video regardless. So um, it's just something to take a look at so you can kind of see how that game played out. My opponent ended up comboing his entire hand out. Like literally, I hit my entire hand out. I kept a mirror, a double strike, a bad ring, and a yellow card. And he had exactly enough to out, like, out combo it. And then I just passed my turn. I was like, I'm not giving you any cards. He's like, you're gonna mirror double strike me now? I was like, no. I'll pass. And then on his turn, he dropped the pan. He top decked the pan, dropped pan, swung out, took a life, and I was like, ooh, he took a life? That's game next turn for sure, because if you're at three, I can pretty much game you. So um, based on the hand I had. So he did that, and he tried gaming me weirdly. So I like took the damage. I went to uh, one life from two life to one, and then he tried to play trunks and game me with the trunks. And I, I was like, any combos? Nothing. And then I comboed out, and it was pretty much over. But um, that was one of my best games. I had a really good game with uh, Justin Rios. Uh, he's one of PBG's best, and uh, yeah, it was a tough game. It was uh, game one. I'm pretty sure I had I had it. So if you guys watch it, um, you'll you'll see. I was kind of like overthinking um, the last moment of the game, where I ended up. I was at three life, and he was trying to pressure me down to go to two life. He ended up uh, comboing pretty heavy on one of his attacks, and I should have just took it. Because logic, I looked at him, he already used all four super combos. I was looking for pseudo combos, which again are these if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and I didn't see any being used. I don't know if he ran it in his deck, to be honest, uh, but it almost appeared to be like he didn't. So I was very afraid of that. Um, and that cost me because he ended up bringing out a 30k Goku after I had like double bean on my leader and I had no more combo power. So he just swung out with the Goku and was like, anything? I was like, nope. Then he just, uh, I took the damage and then he swung out with Fu and game me. But um, game two was unfortunate on my end, but again, it was fun games. Uh, I really needed a double strike. I'm pretty sure, again, I would have probably had the game had I had a double strike, but um, I couldn't fetch it, and it was kind of a sad day on that nah, one. No big, there's gonna be other <laughs> tournaments where you, we invite you in. We're I'm glad I feel at home over here, so it, it's, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, but overall, guys, uh, it, Great tournament experience. You guys gotta go to the. You guys gotta go to the tours. They're gonna start branching out to different locations, and if you do, it's gonna be fun. You get to actually see me there if you actually like me and don't think I'm like the worst person on the planet. He's but, not, uh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's the deck profile, and that was my experience for the event. Thank you, boss. I appreciate that you came out. You did a fantastic showing. We'll get that rematch eventually. I want oh, to make sure it's gonna be good. <laughs> but till then, guys, thank you for tuning in. Till next time.